Hello and welcome to On The Wrist. Today we have an absolutely beautiful watch from a micro brand called Timeless. This watch was released in winter of 2020. It is an absolutely beautiful entry level luxury piece. That is an excellent first step for Timeless into the micro brand space. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that Timeless sent this to me for the review. It will be going back to them afterwards, but I just wanted to give you that information. We'll start off with the technical specs on the left. This is the reference 001. The diameter is 41.5 millimeters. The thickness is 12.8 millimeters thick. The sapphire, the crystal is a curved sapphire crystal. Always nice to see the curves. The movement is the STP-1-11, which has a 44-hour power reserve, has about 50 meters of water resistance, and comes on this beautiful calf leather strap. But one thing that might be a, a deal breaker for some people is there's absolutely zero loom on this watch. Now I want to do something a little different than normal and talk about the MSRP and the value along with the design details at the same time. This watch is listed at 1,450 Swiss francs. Right now, that's worth about $1,525. And that makes this watch certainly a solidly entry-level luxury watch. For a watch to be of that price point, it has to match with brands like Tag Heuer, Oris, Hamilton. And to do that, you have to ha meet certain criteria. First off, the material specs for the movement, the crystal are all on par with what you would expect in that price point. But then you need some distinction, something against those brands that make your watch stand out and compete with those more established brands with their history. And that's where this watch, I think, really delivers. The absolute beauty that has been put into every single feature on this watch, just the pictures don't do it justice online. Let's start with the dial. It has an absolutely gorgeous guilloche dial, which I'm normally not a fan of, but when I saw this in person, I was absolutely blown away. And then where they use some very interesting materials is all of these surfaces that have this rose gold color. Well, it's because they are rose gold plated. So they're not just painted a certain color, they're actually plated with rose gold, precious material, and it gives it an absolutely stunning pop. You can see the light catching the hour and minute hand there, second hand. The entire date wheel is plated as well these little rings right at the center of the lugs, the screws, and the crown. A lot of beautiful attention to detail that makes this pop no matter which way you look at it. And it even has a little bit of an exposed central hour wheel there that has been plated as well. Next, if we radiate outwards, you can see the Timeless logo is actually on a fixed plate. It's not just on the dial, it's on a raised feature that adds some depth to the dial paired with the fact that the hour and minute tracker on the outer edge is at a slant. So immediately there's multiple layers of depth happening in the style. There's detail wherever you look and everything has been selected with a purpose with a distinct choice. I love the font they've used for the hour indicators as well as this tracker for minutes around the outer edge. If we go outwards to the case itself you can see this, this almost bezel-like uh, fixture that is sandblast and still polished, has these unique holes around it, kind of gives it a little bit of a porthole look. And coming out to the case, we have a couple different finishings. You can see that mirror polish, polished on those edges, as well as some brushed finishing. Then, of course, paired with rose gold features, and these lugs that come out in a very interesting way that really add to this look. One of the things I noticed that's quite interesting about this wash is the crown. The crown doesn't sit exactly center in this portion of the watch, which makes it seem a little um, off balance. I do think it works quite well and it makes it easy so when you go to set the time there's a nice little lip to catch here to pull out the date wheel. And the leather strap they chose, it's not its a, a cut above genuine leather, it's calf skin leather. So that makes this incredibly pleasurable to wear. It's not stiff like genuine leather typically is when you get it. This fits ab absolutely comfortable and I love the stitching pattern they've chosen and the color combination with the rose gold and the gray dial. We got to get a couple shots on the wrist. Here we have it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist and it is a slightly, slightly bigger watch than I normally wear. Um, not necessarily the diameter. The diameter is spot on for what I like but the lugs do make it a little larger. 
So with someone with a smaller wrist, it might not be the ideal size unless you like that look. I do think this sits comfortably. Um, the lugs still end before the outsides of my wrist, but it is a smidge on the larger side. This strap, incredibly comfortable, very easy to get a good fit. And here we have it in some beautiful natural lighting. But do you see what time it is? It looks like it's time to like and subscribe. Liking this video and subscribing to the channel really helps boost the video's results in the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate your help. But let's get right back to the review. So we've already talked a little bit about the value and MSRP of this watch, but I think in comparison to brands like Oris or Tag Heuer at this price point, this watch stands firmly with them. The materials are all top notch. You have the solid Swiss made movement. You have the domed sapphire crystal and you have these rose gold plated areas, a little bit of precious metal, as well as an absolutely stunning, well executed design. Every aspect of this watch has been purposefully selected and executed perfectly. I think this watch is a very strong offering coming as an entry level luxury from a micro brand. I'm really excited to see what Timeless does in the future, and I know I've really enjoyed my time handling this watch. But let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch in general? Do you like micro brands? How do you feel about the price? I'd love to hear your opinions. Please comment down below and let me know what you think. Well, that's all for me today. This has been On The Wrist. Thank you for watching.